Hello everyone, welcome back to our Let's Play of the Bounty Hunter class for Star Wars The Old Republic. We are now just outside of where those communications relays are to bug them before we head to speak to Slam Streaver. Who's a gr has a great name. Very evocative. Though I have to say, I think I immediately distrust him. The treacherous tiles. I'm not really sure what the tiles did to be treacherous. Then again, it's not treasonous, it's treacherous. But well, it's dangerous. Keeping warm is do's and keeping warm do's and don'ts. Yes, you can slice it open and stay warm for the night. And if you want to finish reading it, go ahead. And, or if you want to make sure you got it all, uh, so otherwise I'm turning it off. So that is apparently part of the Hoth training program, is the, uh, Wad Jedi Schnick warm for the night. Ray one or three bugged two down. Getting lonely. Well, it is kind of cold out here. new talent. Read it again. It's really much more useful once I get uh, the shot that releases heat. But it does increase my shield absorption. Let's put it where I'm going to put the uh, heat absorbing shot when I get it. Be on seven. Move uh, my stun for my main action bar. So, you know that? Yeah, it's been good where it's at. That. I'll leave a spot for eight open. This is kind of a similar role. All right, hey, we're done with the dealing with the tiles. Now we head into the cold, cold wastes of Hoth to find Slam Streaver. A frozen footpath. Which differentiates it on Hoth from all of the other frozen, you really shouldn't be walking here paths. Subtle differentiation. Oh. I guess this is... Uh, actually, I'll have to do this a little bit weird. At least I got my speeder speed up. We now have speeder training 3, so it's going 110% speed. Not totally convinced it's worth 150 grand for a 5% increase in speed, but... I'm going 210% normal speed now. 
which I was going 200% before, so it's only a 5% increase. Risk off. Alright, let's get... At your service, sir. Travel route is confirmed. Where's the... There it is. Getting lonely? Okay. Displaying all authorized destinations. For some reason I thought that that was a cave. I should have looked on this map. It was a cave up here, not way up here. Look at all the off I haven't done yet. Ugh. It's gonna be level 50 before I get off off. No, probably not. Probably like level 45. Good to hear from you. We've been receiving the feed from the data arrays, and what we've learned is quite interesting. We had assumed there were one, perhaps two groups of Tarls out there. We found six. Had we attacked earlier, we would have gotten one group and the other five would have gone to ground. I'm always a professional. I will not underestimate the Tarls. Complacency is what got the Colonel killed. The good part is we know how many Tarls there are. The bad part is we don't have enough forces to hit all six groups at once. We have devised a plan to put the Tarls in position for a killing blow. Their supplies, weapons, medical equipment, and the high-calorie food they require, all of it is stored in one central location. They may be adapted to the cold, but without their supplies, they wouldn't last a week. So, we will destroy their cash. Go on. I'm listening. We want them to panic and launch an all-out, last-ditch attack on us. And we'll be waiting. If I were them, and suddenly without food, I would raid this base, so we will amplify our defenses here and spring the trap shut. Unfortunately, getting out their supplies may be difficult. They are in a series of ice caves overrun by Wampers. That sounds like a pretty unforgiving security system. Wampers can be fooled. A combination of synthetic pheromones and body language could make them think a Tarls is part of their pack. All the more reason to bring back their equipment. We could learn much from the Tarls. The last thing you want to do in a Wampa cave is wear yourself down. You'd be surprised how much I can carry. Very well then. Who am I to say if you've gone mad? <laughs> Take anything of theirs that gives them aid or comfort. Make them come crawling. Let them know who the masters of this miserable world are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's me and the chist dude next to you. Oh wow, and I'm still not done with this map for the actual Imperial quest. Hmm. All right. Just don't stare directly at the screen right now. Go to look at it from like the corner of your eye. Much more forgiving on the eyes. Winty. So they kept their supplies in a cave. What is maybe two, three hundred meters from the uh, their communications array. Oh, I just changed that. Okay, for the record, 
Well, the change I'm fine with. That's a horrible, uh... Done. I'll get used to it. Good is done. Wampas. Mature Wampa. Ah, I did it again. That may have worked out slightly better that time. Immediately on vet, huh? Alright. More tiles, there's their supplies. Where the supplies are? Some of the supplies. Trouble on the way. That one looked like it hurt. Then like rocketed into the wall. Medical supplies. Food. Don't see or chest. Don't see ordinance though. Oh, there's the ordinance. Let's see if that hits all of them. Not quite, but almost. Boom. Commander Triton back at the base. No, he'd like me to communicate with him via that hollow terminal. Okay.
Okay. Yep. Okay, that's a Sith warrior. Oh wait, no, that's a weapon construction symbol of some kind. Very similar to the Jedi Knight and Sith warrior symbol. Here you are. Watch out. The Tals will want this back. Excellent. I will search through this once the coming battle is over. Which won't be long. Our sensors will catch the Tals, and our anti-personnel guns will obliterate them. Commander! Commander! There's reports of a Tals attack. Excellent. What wing are they headed for? No wing, sir. They're at the power station. They're overrunning the guards. They brought bombs. These Tals have no fear. Even when their army is at its last breath, they want to take us down with them. If they kill the power station, we'll have no heat. We'll have to evacuate or we won't last past nightfall. Heading that way now. I'll call for reinforcements from Adamus Orbital. They should be able to land within the hour. Just get to that power station and quickly. You know, at least there's not a lot of side quests to do. I mean, just sort of churning through the, uh... Oh, hey, this actually, no, never mind, there's a side quest now. This, uh... We look here. Ni at ambumpa poshuda mokili mokranki. Ni at ambumpa poshuda mokili mokranki. That's what they're called. Kambak Nijit, Tonka Yiliska Chanaga. What's keeping you around here? Se gota do muti kihasa da punyo. Lis di woto. Chikos pa ini good dad iji liska chanaga wa. Kabanotase makipuna. Mali tuta udmishka. Dangerous jobs are my specialty. I'm in. Oh, Bagthra Wanawaga mi bunawa duetwipe. Buka kambak nijit tonka yiliska chanaga. Alright, not a heroic. And sort of in the same spot. Bam, right into that little blinding light. Okay. Thought you forgot about me. You all right? All right, back on my speeder. Random towels. Well, that's a named towels with a mask, and he's a. Ch I gotta take him out, right? I mean, his name is Jutu Mabuka. Gotta be a bounty on this guy. Bit like hitting a brick wall, but... The important thing is that I'm more of a brick wall than he is.
but only slightly. This guy's pretty tough. How many points does he have? A hundred and eighteen thousand. My blaster bolts are doing about a hundred to him. But my flamethrower does maybe a thousand. We can only take about a hundred. Uh, let's see, my health is 100, global cooldowns is... There's... What is it, 40 global cooldowns in a minute? This guy is going to take a while. I'm starting to chip away at my health. I don't know why Mako's slacking. I wish I had that heat blast ability. I suppose that's the advantage of when WoW would do 10 levels. Is they could add, uh... Like... 4 points of filler into the level that used to be the top. Like, a tier of cool stuff, and then a new... Tree chopper. I think that might be one of the things that makes Re uh, Rise of the Hut Cartel a little bit disappointing. Is no one got a cool new top? Like everyone got a new ability, which was in varying levels of whatever. Like a couple of them are cool. Most of them are kind of whatever. But they didn't get a new, like, cool thing in their talent tree top. And I think that was a bit of a tactical mistake. I mean, it avoided power creep. Like, because I will say, I don't think there was much power creep in, uh, in Hunt Cartel, which is good. I just had to put my mind to it. We got... Ooh, like a... Earth Vader-y type chest piece. That's kind of cool looking. Level 35 heavy armor. Alright, we were doing something. Yeah, I think we're heading... Here. Ah. most of the power converted. Well, no, it wasn't most, but it was a good chunk of them. I think I wanted to find ten of these crates. Though I may very well have to find a fourth one to get the last power converted. one.
which is well I would say it's annoying but I'd rather find 3-3 three, three. yeah say no but hey it's hopefully it's right here last two nope So apparently they respawn really quickly. Oh, there we go. There. And then we head into the cave. You know, someone must be picking this entire planet just clean of salvage, because... I haven't found any. Oh. Let's take some cough medicine. Is this place larger than I'd like? myself some cough medicine. Fortunately, I have it at my desk. Ugh. I apologize for the uh, delay here, but my cough's getting worse. Quill is noxious stuff. Ah. Oh, but I immediately feel better. Oh, I missed both of the other ones? So that's annoying.
Oh, hey, a blue. Oh, I was going the wrong way. Oh, I put a bomb on the wrong one. Not that it terribly mattered. The tolls are pretty good at positioning themselves to not be uh, wiped out by that. Frustrating. Some, you lose some. You just lost some. That's totally not what I pay you for. Better than getting shot at. Alright, so if I guard him. Ah. Do that. Now we have all three of them nice and neatly packed.
So, gold toss, tals. Oh. Give me someone showing up then. Confront the tals, sergeant. You're weird looking. That's the great thing about employment. They don't have to care. Hey, I'm a no wise. Well, you're nowhere near strong enough to be the culmination of this. Just had to put my mind to it. Oh, there's the tall shit. Oh. Yeah. Those Imperial troops. Lieutenant Oron reporting in, my lord. Our company is on the ground and we have secured the perimeter. You couldn't have arrived while I was fighting an army? I'm sorry, sir. We were ensuring no tolls escaped the trap. We'll finish up here. If you return to Dawn Base, Commander Triton will no doubt want to congratulate you in person. All right, back to Dorn base. Kind of like the Hoth Imperial soldier look in the. Oh, and hey, I get to turn this into this guy. Bagthra <laughs> And you say the entire Toll's force was held off single-handedly by some bounty hunter? It sounds incredible, to be sure, but here, I'll let you talk directly. Sir, our gratitude is overwhelming. We were just talking about you. May I introduce Moff Brainor, Overseer of the Hoth System, among others. You flatter me. If not for you, Dawn Base would have been lost, and all the outposts that depend on it. It is for that reason I ask you your opinion. Would you say Commander Triton or Chiss Captain Eudris was more instrumental in the base's defense? Captain Eudris's advice formed most of our key strategies. We relied on him heavily. That is as I expected. Very well. Captain Eudris, you are now Colonel Eudris. I am putting the base's welfare in your hands until further notice. I don't believe I've heard of a Chiss ranking so high before. It is unprecedented, but Captain Eudris is well known for his skill and judgment. 
Sir, if I might ask, do you think the enlisted men will have a problem taking orders from Colonel Udris? You mean, will they refuse orders from a Chiss? They will at first. Then they will be made examples. You could demonstrate your commitment by helping win the men over. That is an excellent idea. I will begin immediately. Thank you, Moth Brainer. Colonel Udris. That will be all. Oh. Well, that went better than expected. I suppose we should be happy we don't have pirate problems here. He's referring to another security failure. Captain Revar at Leth Outpost lost a reactor substation to the White Moor pirates. We have asked much of you, but Captain Revar has not, and his soldiers desperately need relief at the Leth Outpost. If you have the time, look in on them. All right. And that'll do it for this video and the first leg of Hoth. Hoth is a many-legged beast, large and bloated and difficult to beat. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll... hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll watch the next one. Usually I say something else. Meh. Now I'm a little bit hopped up on cough medicine, I guess. <laughs>